Ladies and gentlemen, we are speaking to you from the residence of Claire D. Hamilton, Jr. in Washington, D.C., where on this occasion the Honorable Hugo L. Black, Justice of the United States Supreme Court, is about to address an entire nation. An effort is being made to convince the people of America that I am intolerant and that I am prejudiced against people of the Jewish and Catholic faiths and against members of the Negro race. These insinuations are advanced despite the fact that for the last 11 years I have served in the Senate of the United States under constant and microscopic public scrutiny my words and acts are a matter of public record. I believe that my record as a senator refutes every implication of racial or religious intolerance. It shows that I was of that group of liberal senators who have consistently fought for the civil, economic, and religious rights of all Americans without regard to race or creed. The insinuations of racial and religious intolerance made concerning me are based on the fact that I joined the Ku Klux Klan about 15 years ago. I did join the Klan. I later resigned. I never rejoined. I completely discontinued any association with the organization. I have never resumed it and never expect to do so. At no meeting of any organization, social, political, or fraternal, have I ever indicated the slightest departure from my steadfast faith in the unfettered right of every American to follow his conscience in matters of religion. I number among my friends many members of the colored race. I have watched the progress of its members with sympathy and admiration. Certainly, they are entitled to the full measure of protection accorded to the citizenship of our country by our Constitution and our laws. Some of my best and most intimate friends are Catholics and Jews. When this statement is ended, my discussion of the question is closed. I believe the character and conduct of every public servant, great and small, should be subject to the constant scrutiny of the people. This must be true if a democracy serves its purpose. It is in this spirit that I now bid those who have been listening to me Good night.